Hello, today we are using the advanced editor in KV Core to make a monthly newsletter. Hi, if you don't know who I am, my name is Katie and I am a KV Core expert. Here we are in the dashboard. Um, I teach real estate agents how to use their KV Core system, a little bit of social media marketing, um, and just how to market their business essentially. I also do some virtual assistant work if you are wanting to use it but not use it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so today, we're looking at the advanced editor. Uh, so we're going to marketing. And you could head here to Smart Campaigns, or if you're in all marketing, Smart Campaigns is right here as well. We're going to manage campaign. And then we're heading to templates. So there's going to be a lot of templates in here. Um, because they are connected to all the campaigns that are in your system or in the KV Core library. Um, let's see. There's 196 of them here. Um, it's irritating that you can't delete, but that's how KV Core works. Um, but if you are adding your own template, we're just going to hit this big old green button and do email template. Now here, template scope, that's you. Um, if you do have admin access, you're going to see other agents within your office, um, but scope is going to be you because this is going to live in your template folder. Um, and then template name, that is just for you. We're going to X out of here. Say yes. Um, so you can search your template name over here. Um, so that's for you to find it within your template folder. So because we have 196 templates in there already, I usually start off my template name with my initials, just so like if I make a template and I forget what I called it, at least if I search for KD in there, um, then I'm seeing all the ones that I've made as opposed to like trying to find what I named it before. So I'm seeing a shorter list than 196 that are in there. And I'm going to name this monthly newsletter. <sighs> Sorry, I'm out of breath. I am five months pregnant, so she's taking all my energy. Um, <laughs> okay, so the subject line, template names for you, subject line is for your contact. Um, so I'm showing you how to make a monthly newsletter uh, because I think that's a smart thing to be sending to your database. Um, it's a little personal, a little professional. You'll see when we build it. So... I often just do this um, for a subject line, hi, first name, and this is a merge tag. This will be pulled from your smart CRM and auto-populated into your subject line. So if like my first newsletter of the year, I want the subject to be happy new year, um, that's something that I can change later on when I'm sending it out. I wouldn't want to put it here because if I do send this out monthly and forget to change the subject line, then maybe they're getting something that says Happy New Year in March and that's confusing and I look dumb, right? <laughs> so if I do high first name, at least if they get this subject line every month, then maybe they won't open it because they think it's the same or they will open it because it's enticing. It says their first name. Anyway. You can just do your regular body email here, just type, but we're going to the advanced editor because we want to make our monthly newsletter fancy. And then you say, yeah, I'm sure I want to go to the advanced editor. And we are starting from scratch here. You don't have to click that, obviously. Uh, you can see that we're starting from scratch. So content blocks <sighs> on the right side here. Go away. Um, we have our content blocks, our rows, and our settings. So your content is obviously everything that's going to be filled in to this newsletter: images, buttons, dividers, text, uh, videos, etc. But the rows are what the content goes into. So right now, this is a row, um, and it's this one. It's the straight across all the way row, but you could do two boxes, three boxes, 
all different sizes um, and even four boxes. Oh, and then wild six boxes. That's too many boxes. Um, so our content here in our first box, we want an image. This will be your um, logo or something like that. And then in my second row here, I could always drag another text box or something if I want something to fill the whole screen. But for my second one, I actually want a row that looks like this. I want two. And everything from the right side is drag and drop right into here. And then my second row, I do want an image and a text box here. And then another row I want straight across and I would like a divider because we're gonna do logo here. We're gonna do howdy message here. <laughs> and then we're dividing and we're gonna start um, our professional stuff underneath that. So next I want a three boxed row. And then my content here is just gonna all be text. Again, drag and drop. And if you drag and you just go like that, it's in the ether, it's nowhere. When you drag, you want to see that drag it here, little blue line, um, or it's not going anywhere. Um, let's see, we're gonna do another row here. We want a straight across guy. And we're just gonna do another divider because I think that looks cute. And then, because we are in a straight across here, we could just drag our text. Um, right. Okay, so what I want to do here is browse for an image. And of course, I already have my logo in there already. But if your image box here is empty, you can just upload, find it on your computer. It will upload into your folder here, and then you just hit insert. Now, this image is kind of big and it takes up the whole space. So I'm going to the right side here and I'm going to say, don't auto with it. Um, I want to drag it and make it a little smaller. Um, if you are doing this with your company logo, I don't know if the rules apply within like a newsletter, but I know in like social media advertising, the logo has to be bigger than your name. So just keep that in mind um, when you're changing the width of this. <laughs> All right, so I wanted another picture here and I already put her in there, our January, 2023. And then I write my message, happy new year. Um, it was a great 2022, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So in this box, I mean, if you're doing the same newsletter layout that I came up with, <laughs> you do your logo, you do your monthly image, and then you do a personal message. So this is, hi, it's me again. Um, how are you doing? This is what happened in my life and my business. Blah, blah, blah. And then here, I wanted to do like a, a mini marker report. So we'll do Essex County, um, average home price. And then I'll do, whoops, X, 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 X. Um, based on my area, if I wanted to do that. And then we could always do, um, let's see, homes sold in December, 2022. Let's pretend it's, we'll just do XX. <laughs> and then uh, we could always do current uh, interest rate. Mortgages. 
and that is an XX percent. Um, so here, I don't love how they look because they're all right justified. So I could always go in here, highlight, and then your text box pops up when you click on that. You can change your fonts if you have a specific font that you use. Uh, you can change the size if you want something bigger. You can bold, italicize, underline, all that stuff. You can make this font link, but we're just going to go middle, justified, center, justified. Um, there we go. Oh, there's my dog. Current interest rate. And I sort of, because this is two lines, this is two lines. This is two lines. As of 118. Or as of January 2023. And that just makes me feel better. Because this is two lines, two lines, two lines. <laughs> you don't have to be as nitpicky as me. But. Um. Oh, another piece of content that we could put is a button. I'm going to drag it here. Oh, you know what? We're going to do some font first. So I want to write, if you are interested in finding the value of your home, click. We're going to do a click here on the button. So that's just double clicking on the button, changing the font here. And then on the right side, again, you change the color. That's my color. Um, you could change the font color as well. And then you can put a URL here. Um, so I'm going to go to my website and hit sell. So this is the home valuation page that comes with your Kaylee Core website. And I'm just going to copy and then paste in this URL box. So this is the action that this button will take um, and it will open in a web page, obviously. <laughs> so then we're actually gonna make this just slightly bigger. Um, and this is something I can keep, <clears throat> sorry, on every, newsletter um, because I want people to click and go to my website um, and obviously find the value of their home and then I'll know that they're a seller lead. Um, right. So then we could do another, oh wait, we're still in that full thing. So we could do just another piece of content or another divider if you're going crazy. Thanks so much and have a wonderful start to your new year. And then here in the text box, we have merge tags. So this is what I filled the, um, the subject line with, a merge tag of my client's first name or my contact's first name. So here, if I do merge tag, um, the first ones here, first name, last name, full name, those are of your client. Um, and then they have agent, first name, last name, full name, full signature. That would be pulled from your profile up here. Um, and then a couple lines down, I could do the other merge tag that is important, which is your unsubscribe URL. So that keeps it legally compliant that if somebody is getting these newsletters, I'm just sending to a list. Um, they're able to unsubscribe um, without like writing back to me, get me off this list, um, expletive, expletive. <laughs> so that is sort of the bones to a monthly newsletter um, that I've created. And I just love a divider between my sections. I don't know why, it just makes me feel better. So you can do <clears throat> your logo, you can do your greeting, your monthly hello, and then you could do your professional stuff, what's going on, just a little marker report snippet for people, and then 
call to action here is kind of what that's about. If you're interested in finding the value of your home, click here head or head to my website, do something like that on the button. Um, and then uh, your sign off, right? If you do have a disclaimer um, and the equal housing opportunity logo, that's also a good thing to add to the end there. Um, don't quote me on what is legal or what's not <laughs> in a monthly newsletter. Um, let's see. Other content that can be put in here, obviously images, buttons, dividers, your social media icons, um, this dynamic content includes things from your listings, um, your agent photo, your office logo, all of these things are pulled from your KB Core profile, um, if that's something that you are interested in, but I am not. HTML, if you're even fancier than this advanced editor, you can add your own video. So here, if we drag the video here, add a video URL, this has to be YouTube or Vimeo. Um, and it will just sort of auto auto populate the um, thumbnail to it. And then somebody has to click and it will open a new page where that video lives. So it doesn't automatically play within the, um, the email. And then you could obviously do core video, which is the little GIF as opposed to um, the thumbnail. Um, yeah, so again, add your rows, add your content that way. Think about the layout that you wanna do for this newsletter um, and how it could be like aesthetically pleasing. You can add obviously more images, which would be nicer. I could add a title here that says market report or market snippet or something like that. Um, but again, this was just like the bare bones, how to build uh, sort of what you should add, that sort of thing. And then your settings, your general options, and then whatever you click on, that'll those settings will pop up here. Alrighty. So then when you're satisfied with this, it says KD Monthly Newsletter, hi, first name. It's all built and beautiful. I'm ready to add my template. I already have that name in there. So we're just going to add a B to it. <laughs> and now she's going to think and think and think. Okay. So now in my template folder, it's obviously in alphabetical order. I can go searching for it or again, because I put my initials, I'm just going to search here. And there she is, my monthly newsletter. I could always edit it here. Um, or if I'm sending it out to people, if I'm scheduling my mass email, I'm going to go to my template. And again, I could just do KD. Here in the schedule mass email um, section, I could change subject line here, and then I could change anything that I want here as well. Are you sure you want to close? Yes. So that is how you create your own newsletter template. And that's just a nice thing to add to your other automations, um, your home valuations, your um, search alerts and your market reports, just because it's more personal. Obviously those automations have your signature at the bottom. And if you have your picture in there, like people are always seeing your face too. But if you send out a monthly newsletter, it's you could add more personalized things. Um, you could maybe even add a section that's like local happenings, grand openings of things, or like <clears throat> your favorite coffee shop or something like that. Um, just to show people that you're a human being, <laughs> that you're an expert in your area, and that you know your stuff when it comes to real estate. So I hope that helps. And if you have any questions, leave a comment.